What's going on guys? Welcome back to Tennis Journey and today we got two tips to transform your forehand this summer. Let's get into it. Alright guys, the first piece of advice we have for you to improve your forehand is to get a straight arm, a longer lever on the forehand stroke. Okay. Generally when you get more extension you can also get more power from the ball. That's why we use um, longer rackets as we get older because it allows us more power. It's also why we want to hold more towards the bottom of the grip so we get more extension. We also want to manually do that with extension of our arm. One way I like to do that is by using my off hand to press it out. That way I'm forced to get my feet in line with the ball. Boom. All right guys, there we have it, the first tip for you. Our second tip for you is find that consistent backstroke, okay? One of the things that's very um, different amongst pros, amongst even Brian and I, wh whoever else, they're back, a lot of backstrokes are, the, are different, right? Um, but keep it the same within your backstroke, right? So if you have a bigger, loopier forehand or you have a smaller uh, C on your forehand, um, it's less important that you, know, you change that than keeping it the same so the timing is same, right? So if I keep the same unit turn, same backstroke, and I can change the timing based on the, uh, how fast I go through the swing or based on my footwork. I wanna keep the, the aspects of this game simple. So if I'm constantly changing up my backstroke, I'm complicating it for my brain to get the timing down on the swing or my footwork, okay? So you'll see, uh, you, know, I, you know, I'll do a couple of different forehands. We'll have a bigger forehand, right? We'll have a smaller forehand. I've seen this one, right? I've, the straight back Serena, right? Or someone else. It, it really comes down to make sure you're keeping it the same and you're not changing it up and, and find that timing. If you're late on the forehand and you need to start shrinking it down, you might wanna try that and start a new forehand but make sure it's consistently the same and we're not mixing it up during a point because then that can be, um, there could be catastrophic uh, consequences to the, the timing and we'll shank it, we'll hit late or early, 